several years we've been collecting um, coats and um, educational products and hygiene products because there is a great need for our children. Our school nurses identify the children um, and let me know what they need. We go out shopping for it and tomorrow the children will have these coats on their back or their educational supplies with them. It's very confidential. The things we purchase are the things that the other children in the district wear, so they're not identifiable. It's the things that we buy in Kohl's, in Vanity Fair. We go to the local shops and purchase from there. We get some very good discounts from the managers of those stores. Well, there's a definite need for it, number one. Uh, my mother was a teacher 36 years at Gomes School, and um, she's seen some of the kids who are struggling, some families who are struggling, who don't have clothing, etc. Um, it's, it's, it's very sad, and no child should be cold, number one. They should be able to go to school and, and be warm and whatnot on their way to school. That being said, um, I'd like to thank my colleagues as well who have also contributed, the council co my council colleagues, that is. Um, this is fantastic. I mean, the New Bedford Educators Association, as well as the supervising nurse, Karen Regan here, as well as all the nurses who have contributed. Uh, Coles has contributed. We've also had Via Factory in Dartmouth. We've also had um, some some elderly senior council on aging um, senior centers who have been, you know, knitting away and uh, knitting away some uh, some scarves, some uh, hats. you know hats, gloves, etc. Um, it's just a collaborative effort, and it's something that's needed in here. Resources are definitely needed for these children, and no one should be cold in the school.